Hello everyone, it is me, Jerry Gaming here, and welcome to Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom! Am I even holding this? Yes, I'm holding this right. And today we're going to be playing the GameCube version, the legendary GameCube version. Now, and as you can see, I got my GameCube control ready. I propped up the whole, uh, you know, GameCube right here. As you can see, this is clearly the regular Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. So... Wait a minute, but if that's the case, then why am I holding the the actual game that's all scratched up and it's been with me for like years now? And I'm playing the game right now. <sighs> okay, but jokes aside, um, hello everyone, it's VJ Gaming here. Welcome to SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Now. Um, of course, you know, being the guy who played the GameCube and the Wii as his childhood, obviously I've probably played this game one way or the other. And did I? Yes, I did. And it's also how I learned YouTube as well. <laughs> well, partly also because of Beautiful Joe as well, but you know, I don't want to get in, I don't want to get too complicated with the details, or else I could talk about that for hours. Anyways, here we are playing the remastered. I'm also on a Discord call with some peeps, so you're gonna be hearing them as well. And, um, I feel like I have a lot of things to say, but, um, it's just because, you know, this is a new game. Um, obviously, I'm going to be expecting a lot from it. The two biggest things I'm going to be expecting from this, if Crash Bandicoot Insight Trilogy has taught me anything, I will be expecting, uh, number one, better, you know, graphics, and better, two, better animations. Because, you know, GameCube days, everything's been all, like, a little robotic -y and stuff. But, you know, from what I've seen from new-gen games... Like, and, you know, remastered of old games, like, for example, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. They can make it even more lively than it's been before, and make it look even better. So, I'm hoping a lot from this game. Admittedly, I did get I did get it for the Nintendo Switch, but my biggest reason was because, hey, I got it for the GameCube. Even though the GameCube had ran more powerful than its competitors, uh, Nintendo Switch does not run more powerful than its competitors now. But, I can play the game with a GameCube controller, and I kind of want to revisit the old feeling of playing a game with a GameCube controller, so, um, yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I feel like I, I do have a lot to say, but without further ado, man, SpongeBob yeah. looks so weird. Let's get into it. Back to the Discord call. <laughs> Alright, back. Is, it, is, your, is it hair? Not your hair. Is it in your eyes? Um, black eyes? Let me check something real quick so I can get a photo. Alright, so while you guys are just doing all that, I'm gonna play, you know, this game. Yeah. So, um, also, good to me. So also, wait, good. actually, hang on. So that's because this is gonna be a YouTube video. Say hi to YouTube, everyone. Welcome to the Bikini Bottom, a nominal peaceful undersea sanctuary. <laughs> Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror. We're in our little yellow friend, we play the starring role. Today is a big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get right. demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one, is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete, throw in the switch! I'm surprised you did like the exact same voice lines, except for just, you know, it sound a little bit better. Robot army. Yeah. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my strap. Oh. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Can we talk about the fact that Plankton has a don't obey button? Or a don't obey it, lover, like, master, hello? I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! This is kind of an idiot. 
he just forgets to have one lever switched and Another boom, this whole game day starts. Playing robots and racehorses. And then the uh, yeah. whole decided about oh, yeah. just getting the racehorses and the robots like, mixed like, up. Like, Wouldn't it be great like, if we had real like, robots like, to play with, Patrick? I name mine Robo Junior or Storlon or maybe Frankie. So these unreal robots are getting boring. What if we put the robots in here? Oh, how selfish of you. Yeah, go ahead. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. I can't tell if it's the same color okay. as the hair. And we say um, the magic wishing words blue. and shake the magic wishing chair. Okay. Then we go to sleep, so, yeah, and in the morning, we we'll have real robots to play with! Yeah, yeah, but that's Patrick, it. aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already the did! The magic wishing words. So, okay, is the magic <laughs> wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabama Wisna Tikitana Fushbark Riddle Bits Von Schnauzer, but I keep forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure! Last yeah, week I only had one big cookie crumb and I was years. really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in a magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs. I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. Such a bully. Next morning. Gonna play with oh, robots, yes, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with wow! You can literally barely see the song screen. Oh, Gary, <laughs> did you do that? Yes. There's some scenes that, like, I saw in the Swatsky community. Like, they're, like, when they're showing, they're like, they're doing it dramatically. Like, they're doing this, they're, and then all I see was just no song. Yeah, Gary. <laughs> it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this no mess. Socks. How uncomfortable are your feet? What a fantastic oh, idea! Please. These signs will provide important <laughs> tips to help yeah. me out. It's, it's um, how do I read the signs? Ow. Oh, okay. Press this button uh, to read the signs. Ow. So if I want to come SpongeBob back and talk even, to you again, SpongeBob just once walk again up to says, I just gotta press, press this button to read this. I better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. SpongeBob's such a good boy. Alright, explore all this. Oh my gosh. I'm so I used to SpongeBob being mad. like in the but middle of no uh, like the But when he yeah. jumps, it's not the case, apparently. So that's interesting. Oh, I, hate this. I hate this so much. Every time I try to click on something, it highlights it. What? I was at Walmart today, and I found that I was work, I got like a. I make myself a snack, but there's no time! Nice. A note from Mr. Krabs! And it even smells sweaty, just like him. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er, promoted to head shiny object collector. <laughs> A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Okay, now it's time to go to Duke, so don't mind, don't mind. Um, nice. This is where I keep all my old comic books. <laughs> Do you really have a Duke that's just called Car? <laughs> nice. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. This is where I keep all my old comic books. I'm trying to find characters. I have like too many of them. 
we need, we need, we need to find, we need to find, like, oh, we got, how do we do a little thing before we even took the road, because we want to see how my ink sono looks before we, uh, do it, okay. Oh my god, I really have to put it to, Ah, there was nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. That was like... They, That's that terrible. Like oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my yeah, forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help! But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. <laughs> But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, something about new bubble move? Right! Press so, this... I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it, uh, on... I love opening presents. It shines. It, it, it was probably so that, like... And then the whole, but it was like really loud and high pitched, so everything Bob, exploded. This flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. <laughs> hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The uh, one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Oh my goodness. Should I do the classic, the classic little script? Should I do that? No, like I'm in Arizona, so why am I wearing a sweater? Wait. <laughs> yeah, bro. Wait. Uh, <laughs> the rolling green hills okay, okay, of jellyfish fields, I mean, a place to experience now. nature at its no, most gonna, raw, and sometimes a bit like, tender from the stings. Not January 6th. Not January 6th. I think it's. <laughs> 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 I, I just start. I just started the game. Give me some skill time. I haven't gotten that far yet. Squidward, are you okay? <laughs> hey, excuse me. I'm just trying to play the game with the game controller. You got a problem with that? Can you do it on a PS4? Can you play game controller? I mean, I know it's gonna look better, well, but. Your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clean! And oh exactly! My gosh, you're bald! 
I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here. Balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. You've just met the Spongeinator. Yes. <laughs> Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. I mean, I posted a new one on my Steam profile. Oh, yeah. I feel like a new sponge. Hey Gary, what's shaking? Wow! 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 A bungee jump for a golden spatula! I must be in heaven! Because the hat he usually wears is, uh, is I think it's a Bridget or something. The Special Forces Beret. Now, what was I supposed to tell you? Uh, that Patrick is surrounded okay, by see, robots see, and needs my see, help. Bro. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Come, okay. Patrick! Neither like a blue. That was a ton of fun! I should do it again sometime! Uh, I'm trying, okay, I don't remember uh, what's until I can't remember either. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Another fine for Patrick! Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Just my side. Imagine wearing double. You just met the Spongeinator. 
Hey, SpongeBob! No, yeah. Thank yeah, goodness you're safe, you Patrick. Good. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy! So, ironically, so Ooh, present in everyone! <laughs> That's not me. It doesn't have the hair clip. I gotta do this thing all over again. I have to find the bright glasses. Cut it, No! That's not how you do it. Did you just do it? Woo! Up we go! Ouch! Uh, me, uh, I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! Rock is talking to me. Oh, mighty Rock! I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable okay, position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Oh, thank you! Ooh, scary dark cave. Didn't you say Kelp was gonna be the invisible man? No, but like, you should, what the you heck? You should listen to it. Ooh, good presents. Ouch! Oh, wait, is a whistle. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. 
Oh boy! I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. I knew the king jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? Like a spring breeze. Yeah. 
See, no problem. You can do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. Oh, yes. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Uh, what if I just get you this? Okay, so... Oh, that is so creepy! <laughs> the eyes just... <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my... Should we add him?